Okay, uh, how's it going? Um, I, I really wanted to talk about, let's see the slide. I really wanted to start jumping into some, see, I'm, I'm starting to make these coin slides. I wanted to start talking about each of the coins uh, in, independently, individually. Um, but before I can do that, I think um, I need to research them a bit more and um, test out uh, how this is actually being applied to reality um, and, and uh, apply it and find cases and find where people fit into each of these eight slots on each coin before I can like fully talk about it and be completely ready. But um, I wanted to talk about uh, my history with this um, and what's going on now when I'm talking to people. So um, I, I'll start with myself. I, um, I was typed by my dad when I was like eight years old with an MBTI test. And my dad's been preaching MBTI since I was like a little kid. Um, and for him, it's been really useful. Um, but for me, like I didn't really, I was mistyped. <laughs> Because when I was answering the questions, I remember when I was eight years old, I was, I don't remember the specific questions, but I remember like answering um, questions the way that I thought that, like, I thought I was in trouble and like they were testing me to see like <laughs> what they were going to do with me. So I was answering like questions the way, and like my dad came all reassuring, no, everything's okay. Answer the questions how you normally would. And I'm like, all right, what's he up to? <laughs> so so I, I answered the questions how like I thought that I, I should be answering them. You know what I mean? And um, and so I was answering these questions in that way, and I came out in ISTJ. So I guess I, I thought at the time that my parents thought I should be an ISTJ and I wanted to make them happy. And so I just came out in ISTJ, which is completely far away from where I actually am. Um, but uh, so, yeah, and, and I was living with the fact that my father thought I was an ISTJ my whole life. And he was like putting that on me. He's like, no, you're not that. It's, you're this. And he was like, defining me <laughs> and and it was just really really annoying like because i was really clearly defined in his head as an istj <laughs> and I'll, and like um and i think i and i wanted to talk about dave superpowers because like i put this oh, 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 like on the side for a long time this mbti stuff you know I, I still thought about it i still tried to type people when i saw them and stuff but um it, and it made sense to me the i the mbti stuff but it didn't like click it didn't it didn't like it didn't, I wasn't able to like actually see that it was working. Um, like I understood the the difference between J and P and the difference between N and S. And I was trying to type people based on that and it just wasn't working. Like uh, I wasn't able to type everybody and I wasn't able to figure out who was what. Um, and my dad said he, he's able to do it all the time. Um, so I don't know. But after I started watching Dave Superpowers a bit, what happened? Dave left a, a message on one of my videos. I, I was just making, you know, I didn't expect anyone to actually see the videos. And then um, one of the videos I made, Dave was like, I don't know if he's full of crap or not, <laughs> but like, he was like, yeah, this is really good, useful information. Good job. And he's like, I saw your video three times. And I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm glad someone saw it because <laughs> I think he's like the only person that saw the video. Um, there's one other person that saw it and sort of understood it. Um, but anyway, so after that, I went to his channel and he was doing the, the Dave crappy power stuff that that's what he says. That's, those are, those are his words. And he was doing like all those old MBTI videos. And I was like, okay, yeah. MBTI stuff. Yeah. Like it reminded me of that. And I was like, okay, so he's, you know, it's cool that he liked my video. And like, I followed him a little, like I subscribed to him and followed him. And, and I started watching his videos later on once he started getting into more of like this objective stuff. And then I, like, I started understanding MBTI a bit more. Um, and it was making a bit more sense when he was talking about the Jungian functions. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, and, and so uh, I, I approached him and I was like, Hey, you know, you left a, a message and I was like, do you have any, you know, typing videos and stuff? He's like, yeah, on our website, like in our class, you know, welcome to join our class. So I, I joined his class and um, within a few days I, I was able to see a system and how he was doing it. And he was doing it in a very like step-by-step -step practical way. Um, and it was hard for me to follow. It was hard for me to put together. Like I, I saw that there was something there and I was trying to piece it together. So that's why I started playing around with this and coming up with, with this, um, this coins. And at first I was doing cubes, um, and, and trying to figure it, fit it into like a three dimensional surface. And I saw that the three dimensional surface actually ends up being a little bit more complicated than, than it should be. And it's a lot easier just to map it out and for people to understand it, especially like, I, I could probably make some convoluted complex system that is perfect for me, but that no one else will understand it. It'll take me like 30 videos. Well, I'm doing a lot of videos on this, but I hope it's a little bit simpler, at least in this 
3D structure that I first envisioned. Um, but but yeah, since since I so since I did this, I, I've been trying to talk to people and face. I joined some Facebook groups. Um, I, I'm in an INF INTP Facebook group, and um, I didn't expect that they would be so resistant to these new ideas. They're so set in their ways. It's just crazy. And so like I I, I put out a poll. And, and it really annoyed a lot of people, this poll that I put out. I'm like, what kind of INTP are you? Are you a, a, T, a T-I-N-E or a T-I-N-I, right? And then all these people, like at first people were voting. And then all these people started commenting and being like, there's no such thing as this. You're full of shit. Don't make shit up and all that kind of stuff, right? And they're like really attacking me. And, and, and I was like, I was breaking their world worldview. They're like, no, it's not possible because of this, because of this fact, 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 fact. And I'm, I'm like getting all these... <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I'm trying to explain it to them. And so I, I wanted to come out with some some video explaining where all of this confusion, where MBTI came from, because um, I think it's something that um, that people don't really understand. And so um, like we're, we're, we have a finished product and people are learning this finished product. And, you know, no one ever really questioned if, you know, the finished product was was what's happening or not until until I saw Dave's superpowers. And Dave's superpowers is completely questioning MBTI. And it's funny because he had all these MBTI videos and it was all confused at first. Like, are you questioning? Are you like, what are you doing? What's going on? What's this 512 types? What are you talking about? So I, I started getting into how he's doing 512 types and it's a lot simpler than it makes it out to be. 512 seems like a huge number, but it's actually like just, you know, two to the power of something like so many steps. And so um, so when I was getting into to his stuff and then seeing that like, um, he, he, how he pulled out the 32 types and how Myers-Briggs only sit some 16 of those types. I was like, oh, all right. And something clicked. And, and I, and I was like, okay. And so I, I, I went back because of this whole fiasco in the I, INTP forum on Facebook. Um, I went back and I looked like, how did Myers-Briggs come to the conclusion that it was only 16, right? Why didn't they go to 32? Because like the Jungian functions, how Jung described the functions should have produced 32 in the first place. So what happened? And I found this one quote um, that's completely out of, oh, I didn't prepare it. I'm going to find it as I'm talking. So I found this this um, one quote by by Young. Um, I'm typing in Young right now. Uh, quote, um, insane asylum. I can't remember the exact words. Introverted. I spelt asylum wrong. Oh, the S didn't register. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here. Here, I found this quote here. So this is the quote. I'm going to have to move it. Um, uh, I made my window. Okay, here we go. There's no such thing as a pure introvert or extrovert. Such a person would be in the lunatic asylum. So that's what he says there. There's no such thing as a pure introvert or extrovert. Such a person would be in, in the lunatic asylum and like in an insane asylum. Okay. So that's his quote. And this is what Myers-Briggs picked up on this quote. And they said, okay, so this means, right? And I don't understand their logic, why they jumped to that conclusion. Like this could have been taken completely out of context, right? Like he could have just been talking in general, right? Like he, we know that there's opposite, opposite, um, like the opposite of an FE is a TI. We know that like there's an introverted side and an extroverted side to, to these functions. But but what they took it as is that your two main functions, one needs to be introvert, one needs to be extrovert. And that's how they base their model, right? And that's how we have this whole messed up Myers-Briggs system that's missing 50% of the population. And 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 I just, you know, and, and for people to be so resistant to this idea of 32 types because of this quote that's completely taken out of context, like it's completely not logical to say that, oh, let's take this as as dogma and use this to, to combine types. Like he could have been talking about so many other things. And I understand this quote in a completely different context than what Myers Briggs understood it to be. And I'm not, I'm not like coming down on Myers, Myers and Briggs because what they did was they took uh, the Jungian system, the Jungian functions, this book that has been, you know, hiding away for so long and they 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 gave legitimacy to it and, and they they developed a, a test. To, to figure out, you know, and they figured out these types and how to type people. And like, that's something that has never been done before. And it's just, it's amazing what they were able to do. But this one mistake has just caused Myers, Myers, their system to not live up to scrutiny and not live up to reality. 
and and um yeah so so um so yeah i want to really thank uh dave superpowers uh, and what he's doing like he's a very practical person and he you know he went out and he did the testing like he believed in the system because it was working for him and and it was practical it was like really working and he believes in what works and like i know a lot of people that are are, are have te on on the outside like that uh, as their extroverted function and they're really big fans of what works. And he's like, Myers Briggs is working. Like, and and even if it's working for fifty percent of the population, that's that's still good, right? It's better than you just being chaotic and random and 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 just having two percent of the population, right? So if you're still able to cater to fifty percent, there's something there. Like, it, it means there is a statistical significance to that. But through his testing and through all of the stuff he did, he figured out no, there's not. There's this is wrong. There's not sixteen types. There's thirty two types. And I'm really happy it came from that side of the spectrum and not the theoretical side of the spectrum, because like that, that's the experiment, right? Exper experiment leads to theory and theory leads to more experiment. And then that experiment leads to more theory. Like it's this, it's this sort of back and forth in, in science. And, and I'm really happy that, um, that he did that. And then I was able to realize what's, what's going on and, 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 and see this, this function. Cause now I'm one of those jumpers and I can type myself. I finally realized that MBTI works, not MBTI, but the, the Jungian system works. How Jung envisioned it in the first place, that it works because I can find I can finally identify with it because I didn't know where I was before. It didn't make any sense to me, right? I always thought I was this uh, uh, INTP, but a lot of things didn't work out. I wasn't like other INTPs, right? So um, uh, the other thing, well, I keep wanting to say it in the middle and then I forget it again. Um, yeah, it'll come back to me. Um, the, so. So yeah, Dave, good job. Uh, I mean, like, even if, if you have, and I'm sure there's a bunch of things that you've done wrong. Like you, you, you if you have a 90% typing proficiency, I'm sure you've typed people wrong and it's contributed to some noise in your results or whatever. But I mean, like dedication, man, you, like you did it. Like, that's just amazing. Um, and with like, I, like he brought attention, like real positive, um, um, attention to, to this subject that, that, um, like it, it just turned into this completely wishy washy horoscope type thing. And, and he brought some, like some attention to it. And the big five actually did better than Myers-Briggs at typing people because that's what, yeah, that's the other thing I want to talk about. So what is Myers-Briggs? What does it do? And what it is, it's a testing system. It's like, it's like, um, it's like, it's testing the temperature of, of the water and the temperature of the water comes back a certain temperature. Okay. Does that mean, you know, what color the water is? No. Does that mean like, it's not saying any, it's just, it's just a testing system. Myers-Briggs. It's a way to test it. And, and the testing system, it, it could be flawed. It could have like all kinds of inconsistencies around it. And it's not a, a theory. It's not a piece of theory, this testing system. And, and what MBTI did since Myers and Briggs, they took this testing system and they took it as like scientific fact and truth, like a theor uh, a theoretical model that works and that that's how people work. And then over the years, people realized, no, that's not how people work. Like there's, sorry. And so then the big five came out with their testing system to test for different traits. And this ended up sort of showing how people work more, right? It was more accurate to the way people work, even though it's still an immersive thing, right? Personality, personality emerges from your functions. Your functions are just there for processing information, and based on the kind of information you process, um, is is based is I'm, I'm advertising here. <laughs> um, so based on based on how you uh, how you how, yeah based on how you process information is based on what kind of information you you're good at processing and you like processing and and from that will come out your personality right. And uh, because you have these extroverted traits and these the, these tribe traits and things, so so and then the Jungian function is really that like it's really that it's it's saying this is how you process information, and this can say something on your personality rather than saying you have a personality. Let's test the water what temperature you are and see what kind of personality you have, which is like it's just it's just it's just coming at the problem from a completely different angle. Um, one is immersive, um, personality emerges from something. And so, so one, so whenever you have something, uh, you know, whenever you have a cause and an effect, so I don't know what that thing was, whenever you have a cause and an effect, an effect, the, um, 
that you, you look at the cause if you really want to know what's going on, right? The effect is just, you know, it, it could, the effect could come out in many different ways. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say about that because um, of all of the the hate, the tribe hate that I'm getting in, in Facebook. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to post this video to them and, and, and just get them a little bit more upset with me. I, whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's my demon anyway, that FE demon. So <laughs> I, uh, okay. Anyway, have a good one. And uh, I will try to get to those coin videos to, to, um, to talk about which each, each coin is individually, because, um, yeah, that's one thing I'm going to go back to that quick and say something about it, but what I'm going to end up doing. So yeah, we're, we're all on these, these coins here. We each, and the thing, what I realized from Dave is something even greater than just MBTI sort of divides you into these like types and then you're in this bubble and you can't get out of the bubble. Like I, MBTI says, this is you. I am this. Like I ask people, okay, what is your type? And they say, I am, right? What do you mean? I am my type is right. That's not you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're not in this box. You can break, like you're on one of these coins. Fine. Those are your functions. That's fine. But you're not stuck. Like you're not stuck in whatever location here. You have this whole coin. You have all of these powers. And, and you can go and you can use them, right? That's what's so cool about this, this, this idea is that MBTI just types you and says, this is you. And then you're trying to live up to that type your whole life, right? And, and I experienced that when, when I was called an ISTJ and, and people were always putting me back in that ISTJ box and said, no, you can't do that. No, you're not good. You're not good with people. No, you're not this. And like, who said, who said I'm not good with people, right? And like, I'm not naturally good with people. I'm down here, but I mean, I can learn. And, and I can, you know what I mean? I can, I can, I can get there. There's no reason why I can't fully maximize my coin and, and, and be the fullest me that I can be. Right. There's no reason why this whole thing can't be my type. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll reserve and go back to here when I need to, to recharge and things, or that might be my default location where I feel the most safe and it might be like my ground. Right. But from the ground, you can always go back to the ground, but then go out and, 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 and become like your full personality. This is my personality type, this coin. And I'm not even sure if I'm locked on this coin, maybe I can jump to other coins. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? But like, there's only four of us, like there's four of us in the world, right? There's four t personality types. And the fact that we're fragmented into one of these eight sections on one of these coins shouldn't limit us. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't say, okay, this is you, you're here. And it's like, no, no, this is your full coin. And that's like another, like, I don't know how he, he, he got to this. Both of them are on the same coin. Um, they're on this coin. Um, both Dave and Shannon are on this coin together. And it's really cool. Cause like, they, like, I'm sure they're like helping each other come out and be like a full person together. Uh, I don't, I don't know their, their story. Uh, I know, I know, I know a little bit of it from what I picked up from watching their videos, but, um, but it's, I think it's like, this is, this is Dave. This is Shannon. They are this whole thing. Like, like Dave all references, like this is his type here, but I, like you see him, you see him. He's got this, he's got this, he's got this. Like that's what he is. And, and this is what I feel about myself too. Like I have this, I know I do. And I know I can get here. Like I've used it before and I've had, and I have this and I've used it before. The fact that I'm just stuck between these two, it, it, it doesn't mean that I can't become what, 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 my entire self like this is my entire self right i'm not just my inner identity i'm also and i i just talked to someone who messaged me and said that like this whole thing was really useful and i love that feedback thank you thank you dude i'm not going to say your name over the video but thanks for that and so he was in this like this high energy tony robbins state um i think he said he was um i think i think maybe he was here um i don't remember i'll have to go back and, and read it um i was on my way out when i when he talked to me but like he was saying like what he like really saying what he was in life is, is like, it's really this, he's this type that didn't fit into MBTI and, and it's him. And he's like, and I saw it on him. Like when he was talking and he's like, yeah, like I want people to be like, I'm, I'm like, he's having fun and he's in new experiences all the time. And he's exactly what the, mo like the model or what Dave predicts is what he should be is based on his type or like whatever he typed him as. So, and, and he's like, yeah, I want people to be the best you that you can be. Right. I want people to be them. I'm trying to get them to be them. And I'm like, and, and I was like, yeah, but you're trying to get them to like come out to this section. Like this, this is what you think they are. And he's like, yeah, 
yeah, that's what they are. I'm like, okay, yeah. Like from his perspective, that's true. And like that, and from my perspective, from, from me down in here, he seems like an amazing guy. And he was like getting me energized just over text on Facebook. I don't know how you do that, man. It's just awesome that you're able to do that. But like, for me, this is you. And I, and like, when I talk to people, I try to get them into this state and force them here and be like, this is you. I want to know who you are. I want to figure out who you are. And that's you. And for him, he's like, no, I'm pulling people out here. I want to know who they are out here. <laughs> and, and it's just, it's just really cool. This dynamic. It's like, yeah, like I am there. You're right. You're right. I do have this, this, this aspect of me. And it's cool that you're able to like pull it out and, and, and meet it and, and make me meet myself. Anyway, this video is getting way too long, but um, yeah. So the whole point was, was uh, Myers-Briggs, good system, not perfect, not complete, not the complete picture. Um, and I'm going to do some research and try to figure out each of these coins individually. And I'm going to talk about them and maybe it will help you realize who you can be on your coin, who you, to, to maximize yourself on your coin. Okay. Have a good one. Have a, yeah. See y'all.